Hello everyone and welcome back to Collapse a Political Simulator. So in the last video, we dealt with our first election. I went over how I feel like some of the things work in the game. Again, I'm really not sure. I think I spent most of the video talking about, I don't know. So, but uh, yeah, just kind of went over the first election and stuff like that. And now we're just trying to get some power. We're trying to go ahead and get more influence in this region where we can go ahead and influence the middle and lower class, which is gonna be the backbone of our support. And also try and hopefully deal with these parties and get some influence in certain other areas. I think the best chance that we have is probably in the capital district and also in the northern district, I believe this is. Yes, the northern district, the capital district. Those are our best shots. But we're going to have to both turn around and deal with the different organizations, uh, the different political parties. And we're also going to have to actually pass things but with the government still being kind of split and stuff like that that's going to kind of, kind of work to our advantage again i think as long as we can get enough support here and then when the next election kind of roll around then we can we can uh we, we should be able to do some things but also there's the other thing that we can turn around and do too is that we can force elections um this this country's government does work to on a system where if there's enough, there's a vote of no confidence that they can turn around and initiate um, support. I mean, um, they can turn around and call for an election. Unlike the United States where it's just like, you know, it's every four years, you can like it or leave it. But um, I hate it by the way. But anyway, but yeah, like, so we can use that to our advantage because again, if we start getting support in some of these other areas, then we can turn around and call for elections so long as we have the support from the other parties and such. And yeah, that can kind of help us out a bit. Or we can go the illegal route and we can turn around and go over here to our party, do illegal actions. And since we do have a military wing in our party, we can start a conspiracy or we can just go ahead and murder the um, head of state or we can launch a coup. So. I think we have the trade unions. So let's see where they're at. Yeah, we have the trade union. So yeah, and we do have 100% support. Now we don't have a lot of connections and I don't think we have a lot of actual parties that um, would, would agree to work with us. But yeah, we could turn around and start a conspiracy which could then lead to a coup and so on and so forth. Now, I don't know how that actually works. But again, it's an option. So, you know, I've never actually done it. I don't plan on doing it anytime soon, but you know, it's there. All right, so the conservatives are focusing on social tech. They have not changed that yet, which again, that will help because um, later on uh, we can use the Ministry of Education to turn around and um, basically cover the airwaves with our media, which will affect what everybody else has to deal with. So. Yeah, just some interesting things there. But okay. Now let me go ahead and advance this time forward a little bit so we can get some administrative points. New echoes of the collapse of the Soviet Union come from Georgia. On February 21st of this year, the ruling military council of Georgia announced the um the abolition of the constitution of the Georgian SSR 1978 and the restoration of the Constitution of the Georgian Democratic Republic of 1921. In response to this, on July 23rd, the Supreme Council of, Abz of Abazkia restored the old 1925 Constitution. Two days later, uh, uh, Bilsi canceled this decision, decision, which provoked a negative reaction from Sakumi. Today, the Georgian National Guard detachments entered the territory of Abazia. It seems that another conflict is planned in the Caucasus in addition to the Karabakh War. I've never heard of any of these conflicts, but you do learn a lot. And that, that's one thing I do like about Kremlin games is that you do learn a lot. I mean, China Miles Legacy does teach you a lot about China, but it's also interesting because you can go the alternate scenarios and see how things would have panned out in different scenarios. Same way with uh, Crisis in the Kremlin. It is a ridiculously tough game, but the things that you can pull off in that game and the alternate scenarios you can come out with, it's just really cool and really interesting and I love it for that. Now, let's see what we can do here. We do have party budget. I think we're gonna spend some of that on trying to have rallies and such. 
All right, and what else can I turn around and do? We do have a rally on the way. Can't do anything with the media. Don't need to collect funds. Don't need to buy anything. Um, I also do want to focus on getting the uh, Euro Socialist Wing up as well. I'll leave it right there at 10, and I'll slowly try and get that up because uh, one of the modifiers you have is a schism. And the schism turns around and has a negative effect as far as your party goes. Let me see what it is. So schism. Yeah, reduces the party unity by six. So yeah, that's going to be a problem. We took a debt from the USA. Credit amount, 14.5 payment, 10% of the balance per month. Okay. Maybe that was one of the reasons why I turned around and lost my last game. I still couldn't, for the life of me, figure out what happened, but... Yeah, I just had a lot of I, my, my budgets in the ministries just evaporated for no reason that I could turn around and find. And I just I was baffled by it. So. All right, we're on to the next month month. I mean, the 25th Summer Olympics are approaching, which will be held in Barcelona. And in winter, the games will be held in Albertville. Former members of the USSR, with the exception of the Baltic uh, Baltic Republics, express a desire to appear at the Olympics as a single team under a neutral flag. The United team, albeit with a stretch, is still called one of the favorites of both uh, summer and winter games, mainly because of the memory of successes of the USSR national teams in Seoul and Calgary. Several athletes of the Republic also received an invitation to play with their old comrades as a United team for the last time. However, such an in initiative has already been criticized by nationalists both in parliament and in the press if our athletes have any idea of national pride pride they will never agree to play on the same team as those who once occupied our country they must follow the example of estonia and not go at all but not perform under the same flag with our former oppressors the leader of their faction in parliament said today the solution to the issue has hung in the air since the republic is still not included in the ioc and the acceleration of this process will clearly cost a lot. Hmm. So this actually didn't happen last time around. Last time around, um, I just participated in it and um, I turned around and I just, I think we just, yeah, we called for patriotism and unity. This time around is different. So, and I guess it's because the, the conservatives are in power. Um, let me see. And I also, um, because we're socialists, so. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and perform with both of them. It'll cost 20 of our budget in the ministry, but I can get that back and I can just put it back in there. Oh, that's right. It, it happened because I didn't have control of the Ministry of Education before. Okay. Despite criticism from the right, the Republican athletes nevertheless joined the United team and marched with their former comrades at the opening ceremony in Barcelona. The performance of the team of former USSR members exceeded the wildest forecast. The Olympics were won. Athletes took over 100 medals, of which five were taken by the Republican Olympians. In France, the United team, despite the release of several participants, was also waiting for success. The Republican Olympians beautifully parted with their former comrades, and the citizens of the country, although not for long, were still able to escape from numerous problems. So yeah, that helped, and that gave us a lot of support. Now we're in a negative support with the middle class again. Again, I don't know why, but that's just the breaks on this game for some odd reason. All right, let's go ahead and advance this a little bit. Well, we got a little bit more support, so let's put that back into the country, shall we? A little charity work. And a couple more talk shows, and then that gives us an enormous amount of support. And that it does seem to be affecting the other regions, and it's helping us out a lot. So we could probably pull through. Well, we can't pull through in any section yet, but if we keep working on the conservatives, and yeah, we could probably pull through and pull off at least one of these regions in either the north and possibly even the capital yeah we could probably pull out the capital too this region just seems to be really into um nationalist ideas so they're usually always either blue guard or the people's national um the conservatives got really powerful in one of my playthroughs and um at least as far as second place goes 
And um, they actually ended up taking the area. But they seem to have a lot more right-wing sympathies in that part of the country. So, all right. Let's see what we can turn around and do. Um, I really don't care about what happens to the economy, quite frankly, because somebody else is in power. Um, so, let's see. I hate to be like that. It's funny because this is one of the very few games where it seems like I have a lot more fun playing as the opposition as opposed to being in power. Because being in power doesn't give you a lot of things to do. But as far as, um, it, it does give you certain other options as far as interacting with certain countries, but it doesn't do a whole lot. So, um, I guess I could turn around and see if I can come up with something real quick. We have this system of healthcare, education. Let's do uniform educational standards. Let's see what the support is with that. Conservatives. Hell, we don't even support it. What do we support? Okay, we support the system that we have now. North Atlanta supports that. I'm pretty sure the conservatives, oh, the liberals, the social democrats support a decentralized system, which makes sense because they have more Western sympathies as opposed to anything else. Smoking law, let's just support like that. Also, you kind of have to be careful with that because even though it will tell you like, you know, who agrees with these policies and stuff like that, you can actually go ahead and kind of call for them and see, and they'll probably turn out to be different. So, so like, yeah, in this particular case, these three organizations agree with it. Whereas before it said only the, um, only a few of these organizations agree with it. That gives us how many votes? 17, 27, 41 and 49 against they're going to be enough mm, I don't think that's going to be enough let me bribe one of you you are bribed good okay put it forward it was still rejected Oh, my goddamn own party did me wrong. Oh, all we needed was those three. Wait, what? I bribed you bastards. I bribed you bastards, and you still went against it. Okay. All right. Jerks. All right. So that failed. But we did try. Recently, the parliament of Bosnia and Herzegovina declared independence from Yugoslavia in response to the proclamation of the Republic, the Republic, Republica uh, Spirka. And immediately the countries of Western Europe recognized the independence of Bosnia and Herzegovina. 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 Okay, yeah. The Serbs sharply opposed this and began to form their own bodies of power. The war in Yugoslavia is gaining momentum. Again, I am so sorry if I butcher these things, cause uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. But uh, Russians really like to use Z's and Y's in conjunction with things that just does not work to a typical English speaker. So, all right. So, hmm, what should I do? I'm gonna guess because it has EU in it, it's gonna be. European Union. Um, and I'm guessing that's the Liberal Democratic Party, perhaps? Yeah, I wish there was an explanation of where they, where the sympathies actually lie here. I'm guessing Congress is the United States, but <laughs> let's do the EU here. Yeah, let's do the EU. You can only choose one of these at a time. So yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with the EU because I'm already gonna be working with them as far as my party goes, which reminds me, let me go to my party. Where is the party? Oh, I'm at the party, good God. Okay, so working with the EU for that. Mm, okay, so I'll just leave it at that. Is there any other groups I can turn around and work with? Trade union, where are you at right now? You're still at 17%. Can't really promote your ideas. 
Okay. Last few days in the southern region, there have been rallies against the CRP. All right. Helped us. Seems like we lost one right there, if I'm not mistaken. Comrade Chairman, I suppose the time has come to settle scores with your political opponents. Sure is. Conservative Communist Party. Let's keep that pressure on them. Hopefully that'll help us out. They're going to start sending stuff against us at some point, so... Um, let's see here. What else can we do? Not a whole lot we can turn around and do. All right. Let's keep moving forward. Mr. Chairman, we are very unhappy with your unfriendliness. But understand that your life now depends only on you. To be brief, there is $100,000 in this case. Pointing to the suitcase, he said. I am completely sure that they will not be superfluous for you. However, you must also do us a favor. Recently, the Parliament adopted laws that do not suit us very much. So we decided to appeal to you. The adoption of labor law could herald a thaw in our relationship. But otherwise, you can criticize these pathetic communists in Parliament who are trying to take away the stolen, oh, that is, hard-earned pro property. I will leave this little present here for you to make the right decision. Hmm. I guess I could criticize the communists in Parliament. That is what you said, correct? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could criticize them. I mean, they are against me right now, so. Or... Pending your decision, Chairman. All right. And we look like we lost some support there. Chairman of the SRP at a regular session of Parliament publicly denounced the Communist Party of the Republic. The Communists are trying to destroy all the achievements of market reforms in the Republic, but the flywheel of socioeconomic transformations cannot be stopped. The Republic has exhausted its limit on re revolution and tyranny, so we can only follow the path of capitalism as all developed European countries have already done, he said. Among the workers' public organization, the performance of the leader of the SRP was met with devastating criticism. Also, a well-known left publicist spoke out against the SRP, calling the party chairman anti-Soviet manipulation, uh, manipul manipulating facts and denying the positive aspects of Soviet reality. All right. Jesus, that cost a lot of support. Okay. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. The SRP is the party, uh, the SRP party is a common enemy of all Republican business. You will ask why? The answer is simple. Its leader only needs power and nothing else. He does not need any rates of economic growth, the creation of institution, of private property, and entrepreneurship. A sane citizen will never vote SRP. You bastards, you turned around and screwed me over. Alrighty, that didn't turn out well at all. But we still have a lot of support in this region, so and some talk shows to try and get some support back. And as you can see, they don't have a lot of support there, so that did, that did affect us throughout the entire country. We lost a lot of support in the capital. Okay, but we're still okay. We're still okay here in the north, which is what I'm gunning for. If I can get two of these regions, it'll kind of make it a lot easier on me. All right, and let's go to our party and give them some money, so get off my nuts. All right. Also, if um, you have money, extra money in your departments, you can turn around and steal money from your department. However, you have to be careful with that because, of course, you get corruption for it. So, so like, for instance, I have 573 over 400 if you have more than the budget actually is you can go ahead and get the rest of the money but again it gets corruption every single time so all right and how is the trade union going still not good okay, i just want to go ahead and get this up a little bit more so that way i can focus on trying to promote their ideas which would help overall all right Let's see, what do we like as socialists? We don't like that. They like that. Is that enough votes? 
eight it's 15 we have 14 they do they have a lot more than us so yeah we would need a lot more to go forward mm. okay today in Tashkent between Russia Armenia Kazakhstan Tajikistan and Uzbekistan an agreement was signed on the creation of a collective security treaty the aim of the new organization is to strengthen peace, international and regional security and stability to protect and on a collective basis, the independence, territorial in integrity and sovereignty of the member states. The priority of which member states give to political means, the agreement should not enter into force in two years and in the political environment of the Republic disputes about the development vector and foreign policy began. I didn't read any of these things when I was just playing in my playthrough, but uh, let's see. Um, let us follow the path of European integration. That seemed to be where I'm kind of going, so. Who's gonna hate me now? Okay, the middle class didn't like that. Uh, let's see, Republic is a pre, uh, the Republic is a primordially, prim, prim, primordially, yeah, European country. There can be no other way for us but to begin the process of Euro integration with the subsequent entry of our country into the European organizations. The Tashkent Pact is not for us, the leader of the SRP stated. It would be difficult to argue with the arguments of the leader of the SRP, but among the Russophile organizations and the media, he was sharply criticized for his belief. She was, because I'm a she, but all right, you know, whatever. I don't know who's in control right now, so maybe it's not the character I started with. All right, so we're losing support with the middle class again. And again, I don't know what drives that at all, so. All right, party, here's some illegal money so you can get off my nuts. All right. And I can't do anything with the media. I have no license. I don't know why it says that, but. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I need to keep working on that. Okay. It's going to take a while. Also, let's see what our ministries can do, because I have control of the Ministry of Defense. Okay. Let's get with the state. Mm, should we do the statesman? Statesman. Let's get with the statesmen so we can try and do some of these other things. Mm. Okay, we got some operability for doing that. All right. It really helps. Okay, all right, that helped us out a lot. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this alone for right now so we can go ahead and get more money. Because what you can do eventually is that you can, um, you know, you can have private military corporations, private military uh, campaigns meet the needs of modern society, be it protecting private facilities or participating in international operations. All that can be given to the market must be given to the market. Um, let's see. So if you get it, of course, you get plus five money. Your ability goes up plus five. Your corruption also goes up plus five. But it does help to have that steady stream of money coming in. The Middle East is full of organizations willing to buy our weapons. And what? Uh, and what, what could this cause international discontent? Money is more important. So again, this will give you some money. It would also give you some corruption, but your operability does go down. But you see that plus 75, brilliant. Africa is full of regimes willing to buy our weapons. So you can sell weapons to Africa as well. And of course you can do purges. It would not be a proper criminal game if you couldn't do purges. Like it's, it's just essential. Tanks, our technique is outdated. We should start modernizing it. Enabled money is in the ministry. Now, the thing is about this is that when you typically start doing these things, you might want to wait until you have a lot of money in your budget. You don't want to just do these right off the bat because typically they're going to ask you for a lot of money. As you saw when I did the Ministry of Education thing, it was just like, oh, yeah, you need 300 or 500 of your budget. So, oh, great. We're in charge of this tip. Uh, but we're getting there. We're getting close to having some more money. Okay, I'm just going to leave this alone for right now. Um, I think I'm going to side with the uh, statesman, though. 
Well, no, last time I did statements. I promised I have the reforms. Okay. Alrighty, Union, how you doing? Hey. Let's leave that alone in advance a little bit. After the signing of the Accords, it turned out that in the territory of the five emerging countries, there are stocks of Soviet nuclear weapons and their carriers. These include Russia, the legal successor to the Soviet Union and its international obligations, Ukraine, Belarus, Kazakhstan, and the Republic. But the latter countries did not make claims to the Soviet legacy, so this created a problem for, the further, nuclear, for further nuclear disarmament, because according to the START-1 treaty, which was signed six months before the collapse of the USSR, the reduction of nuclear ammunition to 6,500 units is, uh, is envisaged. But until the issue of the status of Belarus, Kazakhstan, and Ukraine, and Republic was resolved, this document could not enter into force, since now all five states must ratify it. In addition, it is still not clear whether the nuclear arsenal located on the territory of these four countries fall under the treaty. Under the treaty. In this regard, one of these days, a meeting of the leaders of the CSI countries is to be held in Lisbon. Um, again, we're going a lot more peaceful because of, um, my party. So join the agreement, I think. They gave us a little bit with the middle class. Today, the Republican side signed the Lisbon Protocol to the Start One Treaty. In the context of the obligations under this protocol, the country's leadership also promised U.S. President George W. Bush to eliminate all strategic nuclear weapons on the territory of the Republic within a seven year period of formal fulfillment by all parties of the terms of the agreement reached ratification of the agreement scheduled for July 1992. Okay. So that helped us out a little bit there. I think we got a little bit with the uh, upper class as well. Let this advance a little bit so we can get that administrative budget. All right, we're at 10. The last few days in the capital, there have been rallies against the CRP, and now they have dissipated. So, all right. So now it goes back to pretty much where it is now. But they've lost a lot of support. So now I need to start going against the People's National Liberals and the Social Democrats. The communists have no support. Jesus. So I'm guessing, do these rallies only happen in the capital? Because that's what it seems like. So we got a lot of support support over there in the north. Okay. So yeah, if elections were held today, I think we could probably pull this off. Okay. All right. Let's see what laws can we pass. Uh, labor laws, state and trade unions. That is what we want, correct? Yeah, that's what we want. So there's no need there. I don't have anything I need to put forward. Okay, we got a little bit of pollution control. We have a mixed pension security system. What do we want, though? Is that what we want? It's not what we want. I guess we want only state. Oh, we don't want that. So early retirement? Yep, there it is. Early retirement. Could we pull it off? Okay, so the nationalists want it. The communists want it. We want it. And the blue guard wants it. 19, 15, and 8. We have 14, 10, 17, and 17. So... We could pull that off, actually. Mm, yeah, let's do it. And it was passed. Cool, cool, cool. All right. And we lost some support for that, but still, we got our support with the lower class. Okay, let's go ahead and do some more charity work. Right, do some more talk shows. Stop it for now. Okay, I think we're pretty much maxed out on that, so that's all we're gonna do. 
Um, what else can we do? Let's do reduce taxes. So that way it will help us with the small businesses. Hopefully this will help us with the middle class at some point. Let's go over here to ministries. Ministry of defense. Okay. We're getting up there in the budget. We're getting there. I don't think we need to do anything with education, so we'll leave that alone. But yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of waiting. That's usually how the beginning of a game is, it's just a lot of waiting. Okay. A lot of rallies. Let's do it against the nationalists for now. Okay, let's go forward. Okay, that's gone now. What did that do to them? Uh, uh, look like it did a little bit to them. We gained a lot more support there. And I think if we actually held elections today, we could turn around and get more support. So that's nice. Got a little support here. And we have a little support here, but not enough to actually overtake them. Again, they're very strong in this area. I don't know why, but they, they, they're they really strong. Um, Let's see. Do more rallies. Oh, we can't do another rally. Okay, cool. And how is our faction doing? 15.1. Shit. All right. Try and promote their ideals a little bit. Could use some of my support in order to turn around and get more administrative costs, but I don't want to risk the corruption right now. All right. We cannot compromise principle. Sir, you have made a very serious mistake. Your party crossed the road to very business people. So we do not even know whether it is worth forgiving you for this. However, we are not idiots here. So I think it is quite possible to come to an agreement with you. You see, Mr. Chairman, we are not criminals at all, as you might think. We have our own ideas, morals, and values. Everything we do is for the common good. But we have one problem that only you can solve. Uh, the marijuana law should be accepted no matter what, I explained clearly. We don't need money, but we will not give up administrative resources. And just try to report this to the special services. It will be worse for you. I hope for your consensuousness mr chairman uh, i will bribe them with administrative resources because yeah i i don't have enough power to bring it to vote and then possibly win so yeah let's just do that excellent work chairman i hope in the future we will still be able to cooperate all right, that gives us negative 10 administrative resources, which I can turn around and actually deal with. Uh, Ministry of Defense. Yeah, let's just do Ministry of Defense. All right. So that leaves us at negative six. I can do it again. Huzzah. Okay, that leaves us at nine. And I will take that opportunity. I guess I don't really need to. Yeah, I'll leave that alone. Instead, I don't think I have enough to promote. I don't have enough to promote the unions. Do I? Uh, let's see. Promote. Yep, I need 10. Okay. So I'll wait on that for right now. And let's go ahead and advance time. Today, a referendum was held in the PDR, and today the question of separating the PDR from the Republic was raised. 96% of the small Republicans were in favor of independence. Following, following the announcement of the voting results, the Supreme Soviet of the PDR adopted a Declaration of the Sovereignty of the People's Democratic Region and scheduled general parliamentary elections for March 1993. No country recognized the legitimacy of the PDR. Um... I mean, again, I'm supposed to be a peaceful party guy, so I will call for a peaceful solution. The separatist government is waging a senseless war against a legitimate government. Not a single country in the world has recognized the results of the popular plebiscite. 
the outcome of which had long been decided by the ruling clique of the PDR. They do not need freedom, sovereignty, and so on. They need power and nothing else. This is how the leader of the SRP commented on the last referendum. Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic recognized the results of the plebiscite in the PDR as illegitimate. Okay. Right? We're getting some support with the upper class, for whatever reason. Let's see. And how is our dealings with the Europeans working so far? All right, we're 15.5. If we get 25, we can get with the support of our friends who will open a new party meet. Oh, well, we can't do it because we don't have a media license, which I still don't know how to get. Today, the Supreme Soviet of the Republic has ratified the Lisbon Protocol and Start One. The removal of strategic nuclear weapons continued, but not everyone was happy with this. Many nationalists called this act capitulation to the West in Moscow. Uh, armament is planned to be removed in stages from 1996 and under the control of the Russian and Western military. Yeah, and that's the government's problem to deal with. And I am the opposition. I mean, I'm in government, but still. Let's do some talk shows to try and help us out with the middle class. All right. Support is not good there but we have a lot of support here. Now see, I could probably try and call for an election so I could get this area. And if I can get this area, that's something that I can, I can use. What do I have over here? Don't think I have enough support over here though. Hmm. I definitely don't have enough support in the capital. But all right, all right, I can keep, I can, I can work with this. I can work with this. So I think it's because this region is more lower class, mixed state corporation, contribution to the GRP. So yeah. Yeah, this is more middle class and lower class. So this is helping me out because I'm getting higher ratings with them. Same way over here. This is straight up lower class and middle class. So. If I can keep working on this, I should be able to get it. But that's that's the thing I don't understand, though, is because uh, when I was doing my communist run, I still had a really high levels as far as the communists go with the lower class. But I still wasn't able to turn around and actually get this region. So I got the capital, though. OK, the lower class hates this. The middle class is unfavorable and the upper class supports this. I'm definitely not going for this. So sorry. All right, that wasn't gonna pass either way though, so I guess I probably could have worked with them, but no. Yesterday near Yalta, the Russian-Ukrainian high-level talks took place. The presidents of Russia and the Ukraine signed an agreement on the principles for the formation of the Russian Navy and Ukrainian Navy on the basis of the Black Sea Fleet of the former USSR, according to which the Black Sea Fleet becomes the joint fleet of Russia and Ukraine with a joint command. The parties agreed that within three years, the issue of division of the Black Sea Fleet will be resolved. Okay. Mass rallies took place near the SRP. Who is behind it? The liberals. Really? Oh, okay. I mean, I got plenty of money to spend if you want me to get in that ass. So, all right. Legal action. Rallies. You want to play that game? We can play that game liberals you can get these hands also i guess i could do an illegal action just to see what it can do i only have one so sure let's attack the liberals for good measure today several provocateurs attacked the column of the lrp during their meeting in the capital the people in masks who appeared tore down the posters of the protesters and obstructed the procession. As a result, there was a scuffle in which several dozen people were injured. There are no deaths. The leader of the LRP accused the SRP of provocations, but there are no facts at all. Okay, so that lost us some support. But still, you know, just to kind of deal with them, though. 
All right, so now they have that region kind of on lock. And the Liberals still have a pretty good lock on that. We're making a lot of headway there, so, okay. We use the remainder of this to... Oh, let me use some of my budget in order to... I keep clicking on a lot of things, Jesus. Uh, let me use some of my budget to turn around and give to my party, so... Yeah, fuck off. All right. Also, I'm not sure, but I think there's like different chances of things working out. So I guess maybe if you have higher residents and more connections, you can pull off stronger attacks. Maybe that's how that works, but I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what this actually does. So maybe that's the reason why this seems like the, um, the actual rallies and stuff don't work. I need recruits. Okay. But it just seems like that wouldn't be a thing. It seems like your recruit strength would be based off of um, how popular your party is among the different, you know, different factions or whatever, the different classes. All right. Help out this wing a little bit. And let's see, what can we do? Uh, we can get some connections and we can get some recruits. It also reminds me, since we have influence with the trade unions, we can get them to kind of help us with that. Uh, factions, unions, 14.5. I don't know why it's going down so much. Um, I guess that's something that you have to kind of constantly nurse. Mm. Let's let that go for right now. And... Oh yeah, recruits, okay. All right. And then let's promote their ideas. Okay. Continue. I also thought it was kind of funny too when I was playing the last time around. I noticed that the majority of the other parties, they spend most of their time um, pulling money from the different regions. So I guess that's the reason why they end up having so many, so much money a lot of times. Oh boy, here you go again. Um, just fuck off. Grab you. Okay. Alright, so they're starting to kind of come back now. That means we probably need to pull some money from the different ministries that we have power over. So let's steal a little bit of money, shall we? We have a little corruption to spare. And let's use our influence. Okay. And we also have, what, Ministry of Education. I almost have a full budget. But we're still gonna need a lot more. Um, let's see, let's do, we can't do any of these just yet. Yeah, I have to wait on these. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait on these for right now. And what is the other one that we have? Constitutional committee. Completely forgot about. Oh shit! I did not even see that. Oh, uh, huh. well, that's a problem. Uh, let's try and invest some money into it. I think what happens is if you don't have any. Um, if you don't, if you keep letting this get out of control, eventually I think the corruption goes up, but also at the same time, the uh, government will just basically make you lose 
whatever you have control over, which I don't have a problem with. I'm more than happy to give up this. I shouldn't have got it in the first place. I think I'll try in the future and only keep it to two as opposed to trying to have all these different organ I mean, the different ministries. Uh, give you guys some, oh crap, oh my God. We don't have enough. Uh, we steal from one of the ministries. Yes, I know. I will spend the majority of my time being unscrupulous. So, uh, steal. Okay. Party, legal actions, bank. All right, cool. You're happy now. All right, so now we got plus four party unity. So, <laughs> okay. For several months in the former Yugoslavia, there have been fierce inter-ethnic battles between Serbs and Bosnians, supported by Croats and Muslim troops. On February 29th through March 1st, 1992, a referendum on state independence was held in Bosnia and Herzegovina. The turnout in the referendum was 63.4%. 99.7% of the vote of voters voted for independence. The independence of the Republic was confirmed on March 5th, 1992 by the parliament. On April 6th, the proclamation of independence of Bosnia and Herzegovina was announced, which on the same day was recognized by the EU and the next day by the United States. However, the Serbs who made up a third of the population of BIH boycotted the referendum and declared their disobedience to the new national government of BIH, starting to form their own government bodies centered in the city of Banja Luka. The Serb national movement was led by Serbian Democratic Party of uh, Radovan Karadzic. Under pressure from under pressure from well-equipped and armed Serb forces in Bosnia and Herzegovina and Croatia, the main Croatian forces, the Croatian Defense Council, have shifted their focus from confronting Serb forces to trying to occupy territory under the control of the Bosnian army. The conflict, it seems, will not subside for a long time, although Western politicians are already offering their vision, their versions of peace treaties, which, however, do not suit either side. Um, uh, we will support the Serbs by party. I'm not going to send volunteers and resources. Serbs are our Slavic brothers. I, as leader of the SRP, declare that we fully support the aspirations of the Bosnian Serbs in their holy war for unity with their homeland. All consensuous Republicans admire you and your exploits in the struggle for freedom. Those were the words of the leader of the SRP. The Slavic forces in the country enthousi enthusiastically greeted the statement of the foreign ministry, while the supporters of the European integration strongly opposed the statement. So, all right. Do what we can in order to help us with the middle class. Also, now that I think about it, let's see. Yeah, the Lord Mafia keeps coming after me, and I really wish they would get off my balls. Like, surely you have something else better to do. We have a relation of one with them. The country impact is 20, which is good. Because theirs was 100 in my... <laughs> which, was, and which was 100 in my original playthrough, so... Don't want that to happen again. Good afternoon, Chairman. True, I'm not sure if the day is really good for you. I inform you that our foreign policy allies in the form of EUL are dissatisfied with the work of SRP. They give us an ultimatum. Either we accept pollution control or we praise their policies. Of course, no one denies that we can simply negotiate with them in a more delicate way. However, the decision is yours. Uh, we are not an American puppet. Chairman, bad news. The leader of the EUL reported that the SRP and the EUL can no longer be partners and also declared you a traitor of the common cause. Jeez. Fuck it, I guess. What does that mean here for foreign relations? All right. They have completely evaporated. <laughs> That's what that means. With whom we can establish a close relationship so it's with you. Let's try this again. Maybe we need to try something else. 
Let's try this. Mm. Oh, that obliterated my party unity. What the fuck? Okay, I need some more money because Jesus Christ, what the hell happened to my party unity? Didn't realize switching it does it does that. Okay. Um I mean I could see how that that's a thing, but still. Uh Ministry of Defense, do you have money I can steal? You do. Let me borrow some of that, please. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. I need administrative points for that. Good God. Okay. Uh, I guess I can wait for a second. Please don't pull anything. Please don't pull anything. You can do it. Okay. All right. It's just a bill. I'll take that right now. Um, I will not vote for this because... If it's a conservative bill and the blue guard bill, it must be terrible. So let's just vote against that. Plus it doesn't have enough support anyway. So what? Oh, it passed anyway. Huh? How? Oh, well, I guess that is a lot of support. Shit. Rally? Satisfied with the policy of the Supreme Soviet, the people came to protest. The latest laws passed by the parliamentary by Parliament have completely diverged from the expectation of the Republicans. The gap between the government and citizens has reached its climax. The protesters demand the abolition of the current amendments to the laws, threatening a popular uprising. The government and the Capitol Hall are si are still silent. Oh. Hmm. Uh I can enlist the support of the Brown Mafia. Interesting. I kind of do want to work with them because they tend to end up having a lot of power. Um, because Boris Yeltsin is around for a while and corruption tends to breed in the country because of that. Uh, hmm. I'll just support the protest with party funds for right now. The SRP protests have won. The Supreme Soviet agreed to review the latest bill. Cool. And that got us a lot of support. So that's nice. I don't know why this just went to minus one. I, I don't know what's going on. So, However, if we call for elections, we can get the capital. And it looks like we can get the north too. So we can have three regions. Hmm. Interesting. You know, I'm going to be a save scumming bastard. Um, let's go over here. Let's save this. As you can see, the other runs that I've had here. Uh, let's go ahead and save this. I will call this uh, YouTube. Uh, let me see. Save scum. Yeah, I'll just literally call it that. <laughs> All right. Let's back it up. What is this? Um, hmm. They're for it. They're against it. We don't have enough support for this. Okay, first of all, what is even in this? Okay. They want to have by personal contract. Well, that's where it's at. This will move to state and trade unions. Um, they have absence of a jury. They want to move it to appointed by the state. The alcohol law, they want to move it to 16. They want to move it back to the Congress Scott system. And they also want to move it back to secularism. Interesting. They want to have an average tax and small benefits instead of global standards. Okay. Hmm. The lower class supports it. The middle class is neutral. The upper class is unfavorable. I don't even know if we have enough support for this. So. 
Let's try and bribe you, dude. Can I bribe you? Maybe. Alright, I'll vote for it. And that law was passed. And I bribed the conservatives, and I got all of... Oh, okay, I got all the votes. Cool. Alright. The bill, which caused the protests in the Capitol, was finally canceled by the parliamentary majority. Is this not a triumph of Republican democracy? However, it is not a fact that the protests will end soon. Civil society demands victims. Alright, cool. So that worked out. Um, But yeah, as I was... Okay, so let's go ahead and... Save that again. That worked out fine. Yep, you two saves go. Rewrite. All right. Protests that took place in the Capitol last month have ended. The protests managed to get their way, and the bills passed a few weeks ago were canceled. So yeah, that gave us a lot of support. Support. So I'm gonna go ahead and call for an election. Hopefully, the other factions will come with me. See, you have to go to party elections. So let's do it. All right, political sensation. The SRP called on the parties of the of the Supreme Council to protest for holding early parliamentary elections. Parliamentary factions responded to the call of the SRP as follows: the Blue Guard joined the protest. The CR, the Conservatives, of course, refused. The Liberals refused. The Social Democrats, uh, Democrats joined. Of course, we initiated. Um, the Nationalists joined, and the con and the Communists joined. As a result, several hundred, several hundreds of thousands of people gathered at the protests of the United Opposition, supporting the parties that came out for new parliamentary elections. The government had to make concessions and appoint new elections, which should take place in three months. Okay, so we got it. We got it. So in three months, we're going to have another election. And if everything works out, okay, we're going to pick up. Of course, we already have um, this area, the south. We have the southern region. We're going to pick up the capital region. And we might be able to pick up the northern region. And if we do that, that actually might give us enough to have power. I'm not actually sure. But we will check that out in the next video. So I know a lot didn't happen in this video, but we might have some early elections. They haven't even been in power a few months. Yeah, they've only been in power a few months. Because the next election is... Oh, the next election... Okay, all right. So yeah, the... well, that's because we just called for the thing. But yeah, I don't know when the next election was supposed to be, but I think it was like 1996, so... Yeah, they haven't even lasted a full year, but we might turn around and have power. Not sure, but we'll see in the next video. So if you like the video, like the video. If you want to see more like this, subscribe. I have plenty of stuff on my channel, and I'm going to have plenty of stuff, and I have plenty more stuff in the future. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section because I see them. They come to my phone. And if I don't respond right then and there, I will respond as soon as I see it, and I'm actually able to respond. So... Thank you for watching. I really appreciate all the support. And I do apologize about the last video because it was mostly just me talking and I didn't get a whole lot done. But uh, yeah, I, I really, I still appreciate the support that uh, comes through. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one. See you.